On the Medical Watch for you this afternoon, back to an old treatment for women. Medical reporter Dina Baer has more on the roller coaster support for a menopause therapy. Lourdes and Ben, hormone replacement therapy was a first line treatment to help women combat hot flashes, night sweats, sleep disturbances, and memory issues in menopause. But the therapy fell out of favor after the Women's Health Initiative study, which pointed out the potential association between HRT and risks for breast cancer and cardiovascular events. Now, long-term research reported in the Canadian Medical Association Journal suggests HRT should be a first-line treatment again to improve quality of life for suffering women. The study highlighted a lowered risk for diabetes and better bone health in women given HRT. Study authors recommend beginning the therapy in women ages 50 to 59 who do not have prior heart problems or a history of breast cancer. Taking vitamin D may offer some protection against long COVID. People with low levels of vitamin D are more likely to experience the symptoms of long COVID. 50 to 70% of COVID infections result in side effects lasting for weeks, sometimes months. People with low vitamin D levels suffered more with post-COVID confusion, brain fog, headaches, and sleep problems. The results of this study were published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism. Doctors recommend checking vitamin D levels following a COVID infection and taking supplements to enhance low levels. Synthetic hormones meant to mimic testosterone are used to increase muscle mass and boost athletic performance, but there is a big cost. Anabolic steroids lead to heart failure, hair loss, and erectile dysfunction in the short term, and a new study reveals they can be harmful for years after a person stops taking them. The European Congress of Endocrinology Research on Performance-Enhancing Drugs warns of lifelong harmful side effects. Researchers say both current and former steroid users have poor blood flow to the heart. Former users are more likely to develop heart disease, and that's compared to those who never use them. Mm -hmm. So, a big price. Okay, Dina Baer, thank you.